Hello everybody, and in this video I will show you how to turn this to this. So just a little quick disclaimer guys, I did not come up with this idea. I got it from a re this reddit post. So yeah, I think that you should know that, that's fair. And yeah, let's continue with the video. So how are we going to do this? Well, we are going to create um, two UI panels. We are going to make the masks and put two different menus inside of those masks. So to begin with, we can delete the settings menu right here. And now we need to create the panels. So we need one panel for the settings menu and one panel for the start menu, which is the one you see now. So what we need to do now is to right click on the canvas, click UI, or just hover over it, and go down to panel, click on it. Now, we need to position this just right. We're going to position it like this. We're going to call it start menu, so we type start menu over here, and click enter. So now it's take the settings menu button and the play button, and drag them in to the start menu. In the start menu, we add a mask and disable show graphic. This will make everything that's outside the mask, like this part of the menu, invisible and everything else is 100% visible. You will see why we do this in just a second. But now, when we move this, the whole menu moves with it. Now that's not, not something we want. So we need to write a script in order to make the menu stay in place when we move the mask. So what we do is to go into the project menu, click create, and then the C sharp script. We can call this something like maybe freeze script. Click enter and save. So now we open it in your coding software or what you call it that you prefer. You can use Windows Develop, you can use Visual Studio, you can, you can use whatever you like, whatever you feel comfortable with. Now that we're in Visual Studio, we can start writing the code. So we start by creating some space at the top and creating a new variable, a new vector three that we will call freeze position, and we will add a little semicolon at the end. Now we're going to the start function and we will type some code. So we set freeze position to transform dot. Position. So this will set the vector 3 freeze position to the exact uh, same position that we are in when we start the game. And in the update function, we will type transform.position equals free freeze position, like that. Nice. So now we, we will go back in the Unity. Oh, it seems like we got an error. I have not encountered this before, so I have to, f have to figure it out right now. Okay, I think maybe freeze script is not a good name, so we just call it freeze. And head back into Visual Studio. And now we change the name back to freeze. And hopefully it works now. So I'm going to select both of these again and drag in the freeze script, like that. Yes, now it works. So now we need to test this. And you will see that this, this actually works pretty good, but in case we have other things in a script that for some reason will make this run slow, we change this from update to late update. This will make it so that it always runs after the update and makes it go really smoothly, just like this. So with that out of the way, we can start creating the second menu. So with that now, I can just drag in the settings menu that I have prepared before time. It took, it took forever to create, so that's why I won't do it on the, in a video. We need to add the mask to this object too, and deselect show mask graphic. I'm just going to check that it's in the right position. Yeah, it looks like the right position. But we have another problem. This is the far left. And this is the far right. 
So I will move. Need to remove the uh, move this out and put this one closer to the other one, like that. Just a little bit closer. We need to make this pretty exact, and then make it a bit longer, like that, to match the other mask. And put the settings menu and the play button back into the stop menu. And now, when we have added the settings menu correctly and removed the start menu mask, we can add that little line you saw in the beginning of the video. So we can go to UI and we can click on image. And we have this nice white square that we can drag out a bit, make it really long, like that. Good. Make it a bit thinner, something like that. Good. And we will move it over to the part between these masks. We can rename this to something like maybe uh, white stripe and move it to the shop. Now we can make a start menu and the settings menu a shard of the white stripe by dragging them on top of it or rather inside of it. And now when we move this, we also move everything else. Nice. But when we click play and move the stripe, we, we will see that we can move and if everything stays in the same place. But something seems to be wrong here. The settings menu is not showing. Well, that is because we forgot to add the free script to these objects within the settings menu. So now we need to select them all and drag in the freeze. Like that. Awesome. So now we can click play. We can move to the right and we see the settings menu. And we can move it to the left and we see the stop menu. But now we want it so, uh, so that if we click on the button, it will move to the right and then black and then back to the left. So in order to do that, I will add an animator to the white stripe and then create an animator controller in the project menu and call it something like white stripe animator. Double click on it to open it in the animator tab. Now we can go into the animator here, which I have added. If you can't uh, see the animator, you click on and this little thing to the right, add tab, and then go over to animation. Awesome. Now we can just remove this because I already had it. Now we click on the white stripe, move the white stripe animator into the animator component, like that. Go into the animator. Okay, so now we can create an animation here. We can call it something like swipe white stripe. So that we know what it does and what object it belongs to. Click save and spara because it's in Swedish, okay? I'm from Sweden, so that's why something are, some things are in Swedish. I apologize for that. Uh, but you, 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 you will just have to live with that. Okay, now we can click this little red recording circle and move this little thing here to the right, maybe to the one minute mark. And now we move the white stripe to this position, which looks nice. So now you will see that the settings and play button almost also move, but they won't do that in the uh, when we click play. And now we can click on this little keyframe over here and click Control C, which will copy the keyframe. Now we create a new animation clip and we call it something like um, Idle White. Stripe. If I can, if I can type, stripe. Nice. Click Control V to paste it, and now we have both an idle and a swipe animation. So now I will show you a little trick. We can set this to default, and then we both want this swipe thing to go to the right and to the left. And when it has gone to the right, we want it to stay at the right part, and then we have to go, to go back when 
we want to go to the left. So we don't actually need to do an, a new animation for it to go to the left instead of the right. We just need to reverse the swipe animation. So right click on it, click copy, right click outside and click paste. I got two of these, we can call this swipe right like that and then we can call this swipe left awesome and we can remove the zero nice and now if we click on the swipe left white stripe animation we can click on the speed here which controls the speed of the animation and set that to something negative like minus one so instead of animation behaving as normal this will now make the animation play in reverse so now we need to make a transition from the island white stripe to the swipe right white stripe and we need to make a transition from the make from the right white stripe to the swipe left white stripe and from that to the isle white stripe cool and then we disable a sexy time and now you see that the transition needs at least one condition or an exit statement exit time to be valid otherwise it will be ignored so how do we create a condition well we create, click on parameters over here and we click float and we'll create a float called swipe and we will leave it at zero uh, as default so now when we make with a new condition so if Swipe is greater than zero, which means it's not zero, so it's over zero. It will go to swipe right. And if we um, go from swipe right to swipe left, if swipe is less than zero, and then it will go from uh, swipe left, right swipe to idle if it's greater than zero. So we're going to project, click on swipe. Um, on um, swipe white stripe animation and disable loop time so this makes it so that the animation that's visible will only play one time so there's still one thing we need to do and that's to make the animation actually play so we go into visual studio once again so we create a new public function called next menu add parentheses and some curly brackets awesome so now we need to access the animator of the white stripe. So you first type public animator and then we name it something like stripe anim, short for stripe animator. Cool. Um, and now we type stripe anim and we're going to access this parameter. So we type Type anim that set float because the parameter is of the type float. Then we create parentheses, add citation marks, and within those citation marks, we will type the name of the parameter, which is swipe, and then we add a um, comma, and then we set it to one. So we add a semicolon after, like that. Cool. We copy the whole function, create a new one. And call this previous menu. And now we'll set the swipe to minus one. So now we can go back into Unity and we go to click on the settings button. So you see now in freeze component that it's requesting an animator. So we click on this little lock icon over here, go into the second inspector that I created by going over here, add tab, inspector. Yeah, I'll just remove that now again. And we can go over now to the white stripe. And as you see now, when I change what object I'm highlighting, this menu, uh, this inspector doesn't change, but this one does. And so now I see on the white stripe, I see this animator, and I move that into the stripe and thing over there. Nice. Okay, so now we need to do one more thing now i will also unlock this inspector so that we don't get any annoying things later where we uh, accidentally change things and the settings menu button 
when we want to change it somewhere else. So now we drag a free script in to this slot and click on this um, where it says no function, go down to freeze and choose next menu. So it was really important that we made the um, functions public because if we didn't, they would not appear over here. Okay, nice. So now if we click play, we can see that we can click on the settings, uh, settings button and it transitions to the settings menu. And yes, as the last, our last thing we can do is to go in here, click on the back, back button, we can lock this, go into the inspector again, click on white stripe, move in the animator, over there, over there, nice, cool. And now we go back to the back menu button and we move the free script into the button component right here. Click on no function, go into freeze and click on previous menu. So now we're going to go into the game. We can see that we can click settings and it does this nice transition to the settings menu and then we can click back and does it in reverse. That's pretty neat. So that's basically it. So uh, the code will be in the description in some form, maybe a link, maybe it's the raw code, you'll see. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will try to answer as many of them as I can. And please leave a like if you like it. And leave a dislike if you don't like it. But if you leave a dislike, please tell me in the comments what you did not like. I know that this isn't perfect, this is my first video, so I deeply appreciate all the feedback that I get, even negative one. Yeah, that's it, see you in the next video, bye bye.